Buddy. Yeah, good. Doing good. Doing good. Uh, what's your name, man? Tom Gallo. And what's your connection with horse racing, man? Uh, Dream, I run Dream Maker Racing. I'm also president of the New York Thoroughbred Breeders. Uh, and I'm a breeder and a farm owner, and I've been going broke in this business for about 45 years. No, I'm sorry. 47 years. 47 years. <laughs> Got you, but man. I love it. I'm sick. I'm a sick person. I'm one of these horse lovers. I'm sick. I can't help it. You know, it's like an addiction. Beautiful horses, you know. And what's your what's your what's your favorite moment, man, throughout the years? My favorite moment? My favorite moment is uh, let's see, every time I deliver a baby. Every time I deliver a baby. We have a breeding farm about twenty five miles outside of town. And every time I bring a young horse into the world. And my wife gets all mad because I'll take the baby. It just came out of the mommy, right? And I'll take it and I'll take the head in my hands. I go, are you the one? Are you the one? It drives my wife nuts. She says, Tom, leave them alone. Leave those babies alone. They're just bored. But it's fun, you know, it's fun. You know, what's your favorite horse of all time, man? My favorite horse of all time has got to be Secretary. Secretary. Why Secretary? I mean, to this day, when I hear... Like, I'm getting goosebumps right now just talking about it. When I hear the call of the Belmont, when he says, and he's moving like a tremendous machine, I'm getting goosebumps right now. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Unbelievable. I was lucky enough to see him. I was lucky enough to visit him at Claiborne Farm. I used to live right next to Claiborne Farm when I was first coming up in the, in the business and working down in Kentucky. And I used to visit him on my day off and stuff and visit all the great stallions there, you know, Nijinsky, Damascus. Uh, secretariat uh, it was just I think it was the heyday of horses down there it's unbelievable and where you got horses at right now we got horses with uh, Bill Mott we got horses with Bruce Levine Bill Mott um, and Mike Trombetta hey what's the grind like to be in this business day in day out man it's 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 you gotta love it you just gotta love it because it's a grind it's a grind these guys get up four o'clock in the morning they're here by five o'clock in the morning you know, they're rubbing horses, they're, the trainers are here. It's seven days a week, you don't get a day off. Uh, but so you gotta love it, you just gotta love it. But you know, it's just like anything else. If you do what you love, time goes by and, and uh, you're hoping for the big horse. That's what you're hoping for. You're hoping for the big horse because the big horse make, in this business, the horses make the people famous, right? The horses make the people famous. So you're hoping for the big horse. That's what you're hoping for. And you know, we in Saratoga, right? What makes this racetrack special, man? Saratoga is probably the most beautiful racetrack in the world because it brings together everybody. Families come. It has that county fair atmosphere where you can like picnic in the backyard or you get dressed up and go into the paddock. And I insist that people get dressed up to go in the paddock because you have 160 years, 155 years, 160 years of all the great people and horses that have ever been in this business have come to Saratoga. So you have the the legacy and you have the history and you have the, the glamour and you have the romance of, of Saratoga. It's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And you know, the name of this program is the real players inside the backstretch, right? How important is these guys to these barns and these farms and that that work for these teams back no, there. They're the most important. They're the most important. These are the guys. I mean, I started as a groom years and years ago. I'm still doing stalls out on, on the farm and doing up horses when the help doesn't show up. But these are the guys that you have a string of, like when I was coming up, we had a string of three horses. Now guys are rubbing four and five horses. But these, every one of these grooms is the hands the eyes and the ears of the trainer. They're the ones that are one-on-one -on -one with these horses. These are the guys that get down and sit down, splayed under their horses. They're, they're feeling the, 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 the hooves, they're feeling the ankles, they're feeling the knees, they're rubbing on these horses every day. They get to know the personality and the habits of these horses. So let's say one day a horse leaves a couple of oats and he's a real good doer and he's a good eater and one day he leaves just a little bit of grain in his tub the groom is going to notice that and they're going to get back to the assistant trainer and say, well, this horse, you know, didn't eat up. They're going to take the temperature, see what's with the horse. That, a good groom will save the owner 
thousands of dollars because when you pick up on something immediately on a daily basis that'll save you days weeks and months of something slipping through the cracks and affecting these horses these horses are at a, a fitness level of olympic nfl major league athletes all right so the slightest thing can throw them off and it's and and a good groom picks up on this and know, knows their horses from head to toe personality wise and the way they act on a daily basis and a good groom a guy that knows his horses is invaluable to the rest of the barn to the trainer and everybody else and throughout the years right where you say some of the best grooms came from some of the best grooms where the best grooms came from in this business what do you mean as far as what like stable the guys came that, from nah the people that rubbed these horses who was the where cause you know you say kentucky you say south carolina you can say mexico you can say south carolina i would say south carolina and north carolina absolutely you know yeah, that's what it absolutely came from, huh? yeah south carolina and north carolina yeah thank you sir you're welcome